Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jay. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 facts about Amazon that you may or may not have known. Let's get into it. Number one is that in the early stages of Amazon, first their meetings wouldn't be at a building because they didn't have one, so they'd have to meet at a Barnes and Nobles, and that's where they came up with like a bunch of names for Amazon, and some of the names that they were going through was um, Cadabra and Relentless, but then like like the legal advisor said that Cadabra sounded too much like Abracadabra, that was already copyrighted, and then Relentless, you know, like he um, Jeff Bezos really liked it, but he didn't want to go with it all the way because he just didn't have that connection to it. And then, yeah, so then at the end of the day, they went with Amazon. And now you, you could go on relentless.com and that would take you to amazon.com because uh, Jeff Bezos really liked that name, so he just decided to buy the domain. So, yeah, next time, you know, you want to really trick out your friends, go to relentless.com and that'll take you to amazon.com. In the early stages, when Amazon first started, um, back in 19 1999, they had an auction site to compete with the e commerce space or to compete with the competitors in the e-commerce space. So when they first did this, their shares went up almost 8% because they were so successful. Before Google had the street view, which we all know now, where you can go and you can look at all the streets, Amazon 2004 ha launched their own uh, similar version of this in A9.com, which is like a block view map, where you could go and you could see yellow visual images of streets. So technically, before Google launched the street view, Amazon had an older version of that in 2004. Amazon Smile. So Amazon has their own um, website called smile.amazon.com where you can go on there, you can shop products, and any product that you buy on there, they donate 0.5% of that money to any charity of your choice. So you guys should all go shop at smile.amazon.com. Amazon Flow. A lot of you guys probably have had this app already on your phone, but Amazon Flow, it lets you take pictures of products so you don't have to have like a shopping list of stuff that you need to buy. You, just, you can just take a picture of the product and it'll automatically just add that to your list. And this is really cool because it's like an augmented reality app where you don't have to like actually physically have a list and you can just take pictures of everything you need so it automatically finds it for you. Amazon Go. So in Amazon Go, what you could do is you have like a virtual, uh, Amazon Go is basically like a virtual like shopping cart. So what happens is you can go out and you can go into an Amazon store and you can just pick out everything you need. You can just walk out, you don't have to wait for a cashier because the stores are equipped with a bunch of cameras like the ones that they have in like the uh, self-driving cars. They have so many cameras that automatically like detect what you buy and you can they actually just like take a full list of everything you bought and it'll just they just send the bill straight to your Amazon account. The first ever book sold on Amazon was Fluids and Concepts by Doug Hofstetter. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to leave a picture right there of the book. So that's basically the book and yeah, that was the first book that Amazon ever sold on their page. Prime Air. So a lot of us know that deliveries come through air, you know, off of um, planes, and then they land in here to ship, and also through the car to your house. But Amazon worked on something called this, the Prime Air, where they would have drones fly deliveries straight to your door, so you don't have to worry about, you know, waiting for anything, and you could track the drone all the way through. So we'll all be looking forward to that. When Amazon first started, they rang a bell every time a person made a purchase. So it was pretty small at that time, so then, like, they would always just ring a bell. So every time you made a purchase, you'd get a ding, and then... After that, it got kind of annoying because a lot of people started buying, so then they just got rid of the bell. Amazon employs 563,000 people all over the globe. That's more than, like, that's more than uh, Google, Alibaba, and, like, a lot of other companies like that. So, Amazon's really big, and they employ a lot of people globally. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hey, this is my channel. What are you doing here? Whatever. Thank you, guys. Um, make sure you guys, yeah, like she said, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you leave your score in the description below of how many of, you, uh, how many of these facts you knew. If you knew all of them, make sure you guys leave 10 out of 10. If you didn't know some of them, make sure you leave your score. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.